Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today I want to talk about Wayfinder. So what exactly is Wayfinder? Wayfinder is a new MMORPG styled game being developed by Airship Syndicate and published by Digital Extremes. It is releasing for paid early access launch on August 15th. And the lowest tier to get in it costs about 25 Canadian. Other than that, Wayfinder will be a free-to-play game releasing for free-to-play approximately six months after the August 15th early access release. Wayfinder is going to be somewhat of a traditional MMO live service game in the sense that they're going to have regular updates, new characters, new content drops in areas. There will be a paid and a free battle pass that you can run through. And of course, all of the footage that's running right now in the background is trailer footage. So all the combat, everything you're seeing is pretty much what Wayfinder is. It is a RPG MMO. MMO styled action game, right? It's nothing we haven't necessarily seen before, but let's talk about it a little bit. Maybe you'll love it, maybe you'll hate it. This game is very reminiscent and similar to Warframe, Digital Extremes' game, because this game is being published by Digital Extremes, so they do share a lot of similarities. In this game, you can pretty much earn everything free to play. You can get all Wayfinders by farming them and then crafting them, and I believe this game has no crafting times. You can get all weapons by farming them and crafting them. Each weapon has its own individual ability, and each Wayfinder has their own individual ability set. All are equally viable to play the game, whether that be single player or with other people, whether that's in a party or just thrown around in the open areas. So yeah, it's pretty fun like that. This game again is very similar to Warframe in the fact that it'll have Wayfinders, you know, your characters, and then heroic Wayfinders, which is pretty much an enhanced version of that Wayfinder via better stats. If you play Warframe, you know it as like Warframes versus Prime Warframe, so this game will have that sort of system. Speaking of the Battle Pass, with the free-to-play Battle Pass, you can get about a quarter of all of the items, and with the paid Battle Pass, you can get every single item in the Battle Pass, which there is a hundred nodes of. And the Battle Pass for this game is a little different in the sense that it's kind of like a little walkway board where you can choose what you grab and where you get. It's not a linear path fully unless you're tra planning to get every single item. If you're free to play, it's not linear, but if you are fully paid for the battle pass, I mean, you'll get every item, so it might as well be linear, right? That's most of how the game works. It's pretty standard in that. It looks a lot like Dauntless or Wildstar, most people are saying, in the fact that it's a cartoony animated style and combat, so judge that how you will. And all of the characters' attacks are pretty interesting. They all have four attacks, like regular skill, and then their ultimate. While it's nice that the game has different types of Wayfinders, like support, damage, assassin, more heal support, more damage support, right? And then there's like dot damage. There's a ton of different general Wayfinders you can take a look at, so the game should be pretty fun, all things considered. You should probably be able to check me out playing it whenever I get back from camping on early access release, I think probably Thursday, or you can just check out anyone else playing it if you want. I just wanted this small little video today to talk about the game, to get everyone a little excited for it, and to take a look to see if you like it. So judge it how you will, expect a lot of, or a handful at least, of random Wayfinder videos and guides, and thank you all for watching. Sub like and do all that if you want to support the channel. I have way too many social medias down in the description. So thank you, and I will see you next time. Cheers.